Today, I'm gonna be installing a belt drive on my Suron to replace the chain. Recently, I installed new wheels. I took the old wheels off because they were bent. These are aftermarket 17 inch wheels. I used to have 19s on them for factory, but I bent the shit out of them when I hit a big jump, as you can see here. So far, the modifications I've done to the Suron are new handlebars. They're, I don't even know, DID handlebars. I cut them I cut like an inch shorter. A second mod, I had 3D printed a custom um, mount for this. It used to be up here, but I put it right here. It's actually pretty nice right here, honestly. It's clean, and also if I bust my ass, it's not gonna break. I did a custom graphics job on it. I'm gonna replace this. This is all gonna be brand new. It's all gonna be redone. Um, this is my first version I did, but I'm doing a second version because it's all beaten up right now. It's all, okay. It's, it's just been beat to shit. So we're gonna replace all the graphics and we're gonna change this to something new. Oh shit! That fucking almost killed me. All right, this is what it sounds like for a chain drive. It's kind of loud, but we'll see how it is. Okay, I got the free stand here. All right. Pretty loud. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. I just have the parts, and um, <sighs> oh, so that's just how it comes. Okay, that's that's just how it's gonna. This is how it came. So they're just gonna throw all my bolts all over the place. What the hell is this? This is. Oh man, what am I? What am? What is this? Well, we're gonna see if this is worth the upgrade. I bought it, so I might as well use it. All right, first thing to do, let's flip this bike upside down. Uh-oh, what was that? Sounded like something broke. All right, now we got this upside down. I used the shit out of my surgery. Look how much damage I've done to this. All this shit, look at these pegs. These are all from, oh boy. So far, I've had about a thousand miles on this bike. This bike's been amazing. So, uh, we're gonna try to put this chain drive on. This is, oh, I gotta take this whole thing, oh my God, why am I doing this? I have to take this whole thing off, and then I have to pull this whole thing. Uh. What, 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 the chain is fine. I should just keep the chain, right? Might as well. Okay, we'll just change it. All right, let's get to it. Let's take this chain off. I just got this chain. This chain was, uh... Oh my god, there's so much... Uh, just parts all falling over the place. Um, Alright, well, we got this off. Now, now we gotta change this to the new belt drop. I don't know how this is gonna put on. There's no instructions that come up. What is this? There's like another package inside of another package. Let's just see here. What's inside here? Oh, okay, great. There's a, there's a gear here. So we got a gear, and then we got another gear. Um, yeah, so uh, let's put this on. There is absolutely zero instructions that come with this. Thanks, Linda Cycle. No instructions at all. All right, taking off all the bolts for this. Got to remove this. Now put this one on like this. Should be easy enough. All right, time for the bolts, but go back in. Uh, I understand what this is for now. I understand what this is for. This piece. I wish I knew this prior to, uh, you know, let me just show you. Uh, basically, they want me to cut my fucking frame. They. Oh yeah, don't worry, just cut the frame. They want me to cut this frame and bolt in these new things. Because how are you gonna get the belt between here? Oh yeah, you, you, just, you just gotta cut the frame. Just cut the frame. That's all you gotta do. All right, so I unscrewed this side and uh, let's just pull this through. Uh, all right. Oh no. Oh no. That didn't, why did that do nothing? Do I have to undo that bolt too? Oh my God. I played myself. Now I have to do, now I have to take off this accessory belt and somehow I have to put it back on. And oh my God, I, I screwed myself so hard with this. 
I just gotta keep taking apart the bike. What am I doing? All right, well, I got it out and um, now I gotta figure out how to put this um, <laughs> this belt drive on and then I gotta saw my frame in half. That's gonna be great and um, should be good to go. Let's go. All right, so we took this gear off on this uh, thing. Now we just gotta put this uh, right here. There, that, like that, perfect. I think it should go like that. Double belt. All right, so wait a second. I think I'm supposed to take this inner bearing off and put it in here. I think so. Uh, so installing this, I uh, bent the bearing that needs to go in here and um, Time to cut the frame. Uh, so far, it's not worth it. If you're planning on doing this, don't do it. I've already broke a bearing. I don't know what that's gonna do. And now I'm gonna cut the frame. So I'm gonna just sit here and cut this for about a half an hour until it's all done. So yeah, good me. All right, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, that's one done. Um, all right, let's cut out a notch so that we can fit the chain and everything out of here. All right, let's go. That's that is an upgrade. I broke my saw. My saw did a thing. That's great. Now, all right. Luckily, I have a Dremel drill, but I don't know if it's gonna work. Uh, hopefully, it does. But why did my blade have to break? I mean, that's what I get for buying this shitty tool set from Amazon. All right, let's try to Dremel this shit up. All right, three blades later and uh, I still haven't broken through. So I, I think I'm at the last, the last part. I could probably just, oh, there we go. We just snap it off like that. Thank God, it just snapped. The blade just broke off, it's in pieces everywhere. Let's take the chain off. <sighs> Goodbye chain. It's been real. <sighs> Your time is gone. Belt drive. Where are you at? Time for your time to shine. Oh, look at that fitment. All right, let's put this other part in. Hopefully no more hiccups. So I had to take off the peg. Um, the bike is mangled now because I'm um, all because of this piece. I have to fit this in between here and it's super tough. Um, so, so far, do I suggest doing this project? Absolutely not. Don't even worry about it, but we'll find out to the end if it's actually worth it still. I got the belt drive on here. Uh, this took me an hour and a half. The problem is there's shorter bearings on this side than this side. This had longer bearings and I had them swapped. So it took me forever just to get it in. I nicked up this thing. It's just, oh my God, look, I broke my glove. My fingers are dirty. If this doesn't make the bike quieter by the time I'm done. Let's just put this all back together now. So we put the peg back. We put all the bolts back, most of them at least. We put the, um, the shield back. Now we have to put this main bolt on and uh, so much work. But now. That one just went in my head. Um, so we're just gonna put this right here. All right, let's let's screw on these bolts and put them on. So I put the plate on. Somehow I lost the bolt, the third bolt. I I, I don't know where it went. It just kind of disappeared on me. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to uh, put that on later when I find the bolt. But now let's put the wheel on. And um, if I did everything correctly, this should work. We'll see. Hopefully. I hope. All right. Ah, that last turn. All right. So we got the belt on. It looks like it spins okay. Let's flip the bike around and um, let's raise it up and see how it works. Hopefully the belt doesn't slip off. The belt slips off. I already caught my finger in here and my finger went through the belt. So that, that, that was nice. All right. Let's flip it around and see if we can... Uh, See if this all this shit was worth it. Okay, first test with the new belt. Oh wow, that's quiet.
It works, it works. All right, let's bring it on the street and see if it actually is worth all this work. And here it is, it's done. The belt drive, oh, there we go. It was a bitch to get on, but I finally got it on and I think it's good now. We're gonna give it a quick ride and I'm gonna show you how it is, but belt drive is looking good. Let's, let's hop on and check it out. I mean, it's quiet. And the, the, the slight sound you hear is from my brakes. I need new brakes, but. It's quiet, it's quiet, it's quiet. It's, it's actually a lot quieter than stock. It's a lot quieter than stock. All right, now the question, can it wheelie? <laughs> These are the quietest wheelies I've ever seen. What the fuck? All right, I have to admit, I have to admit, these, it is quiet. It's much quieter than stock. And wheelies now, now I can do something. Now it's like, I can go through stores and a bunch of other places with it. Nobody would know. Oh my gosh, it's actually so smooth with the wheelies. As you can hear, my brakes are shot. I'm getting new brake pads today. There should be an actually my mailbox right now. But was it worth it? Okay, maybe it was a little worth it. I'm gonna test it out. I'll update. I like this, I like it. This was worth it. It was a pain in the ass to get on, but it was worth it. I'm glad I got it. It was a pain in the ass to do it, but I finally got it. Next, we're gonna completely detail this bike and then we're gonna put a new graphics kit on it. We're getting new handle grips because these are worn. I've put about a thousand miles on them. All right, my build's gonna get a lot of crazier after this, but we're gonna do more of a street style. I had off-road and as you can see, I just beat the hell out of it. Oh, these are all the rocks. I didn't drop the bike, it's just from the rocks uh, hitting over the bike and stuff like that. It tipped over once. Um, I bent my um, this, but when I got the new wheels, it came with a new, it came with a new disc brake. But yeah, this this kit's not too bad. And there it is. All right, thanks for watching. See ya. Bye, guys.